Good morning, friends. This is Pastor Joe Palikathayar. I invite you and welcome you for this daily meditation. We have, med we have been meditating on the fruit of the Spirit according to Galatians chapter 5, 22, 20 to 22, 22 to 23, sorry. <coughs> Today, i like to invite you to meditate on the acts of sinful nature because we need to be aware of what is going on around us so that we can be alert and prevent ourselves to be persuaded by the sinful nature all around us. We are called to be God's holy people. If we are not careful, the acts of sinful nature that are around us can lead us into that kind of behavior. So in Galatians chapter 5, verse 19 to 21, Apostle Paul describes 15 acts of sinful nature. 15 of them. But that's not the total list. He concludes that list as saying that and the and such such behaviors as these. So he has not exhausted. He was presenting at least fifteen names of sinful nature, acts of sinful nature. The very first one is sexual immorality. Oh sisters and brothers, how prevalent is sexual immorality in our world because of technology, the internet, all sorts of printing technology, all sorts of movies and other distractions. Somehow even God's holy people are tempted. I want to encourage you to meditate on Ephesians chapter 5 verse 3. Apostle Paul wrote, there should not be even a hint of sexual immorality among you because you are God's holy people. We are set apart to present God's holiness. So we should not allow even a hint of sexual immorality among us. How can we make sure that there is no sexual immorality, not even a hint of sexual immorality among us? We need to protect one another, support one another, strengthen one another. The world around us is full of sexual immorality. We should not even discuss that or, or talk, joke about it or anything to do with it. When we are joking about it or thinking and talking about it, we are being tempted towards sexual immorality. Sisters and brothers, we are called to be brothers and sisters to one another. To the females or the males, we should not look at them with the sexual, sexual orientation or sexual desire, but rather we should look at them as brothers and sisters, set apart by God. Yes, at the right time, in the right way, God will give us a wife, a husband. We are not called to live alone. We are called to live together, supporting one another, complementing and completing one another. Until we find the partners God has set apart for us, we should not even think about sexual immorality or sexual attraction. We should remove that. Not only remove attractions, sexual attractions from our heart or thoughts from our heart, but also not expose ourselves to printing or print, print, printed material or uh, other things, internet or pornography or any other thing that would influence us in that direction. But instead, we need to keep on thinking about the holiness of God. God has set apart us as his holy people, wholesome people, filled with Jesus Christ, 
his grace, his glory, his love. So when we hear about sexual immorality, what should we do? Pray. Pray that God will give us the strength not to be tempted by them. And also pray for redemption of people who are involved in, in such a behavior. Oh, I have read articles and, and, and research studies that demonstrate pornography has led a lot of people into all sorts of destructive behaviors, even killing, murdering, precious. Oh, it's so horrible. So sisters and brothers, let us demonstrate God's greatness, God's holiness, God's wonder and splendor, and God's glorious grace that is available to us to be, to resist temptation to sexual immorality. Will you join me in this prayer? Let us pray. Eternal Father, thank you for creating us as sexual beings. Lord, you created us as sexual beings for our spouse until we get married. Enable us to, to control our sexual feelings. Teach us, O oh Lord, to control our sexual feeling in such a way that should not be even a hint of sexual immorality among us. Please, Lord, teach us to talk only about good things, good things of your greatness, your glory, your kindness, mercy. O oh Lord, enable us to pay, pray for those who are involved in, in sexual immorality for redemption. We ask this blessing, Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen.